Okay guys, so this video is dealing with slightly more complex simultaneous equations questions. So if you haven't already watched my first video, I'd recommend you watching that to begin with. That gives you a good introduction to the different methods of solving simultaneous equations. Remember that Simultaneous equations are just when we're trying to work out basically where two lines intersect, where they meet together, where their x and y value are the same. Um, so every answer that we get using algebra can also be um, worked out using a graph. So don't lose sight of that when we start doing these more complex questions. Okay, so let's remember the main method that I like using for simultaneous equations is the elimination method. However, the substitution method is equally as acceptable, so it's up to you which one you want to use. This is the one I'm covering in this video. So, we want to try and get rid of either the x or the y, and we want the way that we're going to do that is by adding the two lines together, column by column. And we need to make sure in order for one of the letters to cancel out that one of them is a plus and one of them is a minus, and they both have the same value in front of them. Now, looking at these two lines right now, nothing is going to cancel out when we add them together. However, if we look to our x's, we can say, well, look, if one of those was a plus and one of them was a minus, they would cancel out. At the moment, however, they're both pluses. So what we can do is we can multiply everything in one of those lines by minus one, and it will give us um, a negative in order to be able to cancel out with the plus x. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick. I'm just going to go with the second line and I'm going to multiply that by minus one, everything in that uh, line. So therefore, it's going to give me minus x minus y is equals to minus three. I'm now going to rewrite out the two lines together. So my first line was x x plus 2y is equals to 4, and my second one is minus x minus y is equals to minus 3. Now I'm going to do the elimination. So we know that these two are now going to eliminate or cancel out because one's an x and one's a minus x. We need to add together everything else. So 2y minus y gives me y, and 4 minus 3 gives me 1. So therefore, y is equals to 1 but I still need to work out my value of x. So I'm gonna rewrite out my first line or my first equation, and I'm gonna substitute in y equals to one. So therefore, x plus two is equals to four. I wanna get x by itself, so I need to minus two from both sides. Therefore, x is equals to two. So therefore, our answer is x equals to 2, y equals to 1. And if this was drawn on a graph, they would intersect at the point 2, 1. Okay, next example. Again, we're going to use the elimination for this. And what I'm thinking of each time is I need to get rid of either the m or the n. And to do that, I need to add them together where one is a plus and one is a minus and they both have the same number in front of them. So looking at m and looking at n, I'm thinking straight away, well, this looks promising because one is a plus and one is a minus. However, they both do not have the number three in front of them. But the bottom uh, equation, I could just multiply by 3, and that would make 3 appear in front of it. So that's what I'm going to do, but I have to multiply the 3 by everything. So 3 times 3n gives me 9m, 3 times n gives me plus 3n, and 2 times 3 gives me 6. So I'm now going to rewrite out my two equations. So my top one I haven't changed is 2m minus 3n equals to 5. And my bottom one is 9m plus 3n equals to 6. Now I'm going to carry out my elimination. So these guys are going to cancel when I add them together. And 2m plus 9m gives me 11m. And 5 plus 6 gives me 11. Now I need to get m by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 11. So therefore, m is equals to 1. So I have m, but now I need to go and get n. So I'm going to write out my first equation again, and I'm going to substitute in m equals to, to 1. So therefore, 2 minus 3n is equals to 5. So to get n by itself, first of all, I'm going to minus 2 from both sides. So I'm left with minus 3n is equals to 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by minus 3, because I'm trying to get the n by itself. So therefore, n is equals to 
minus 1. Okay guys, so here's another example for us. So we have 4x plus y is equals to 14 and we have x plus 5y equals to 13. So in order to do the elimination method here, we need one of our letters to have a plus, one to have a minus, and the both to have the same number in front of them. So right now, neither the x nor the y has the same numbers in front of them, and they also are all pluses. So I'm going to have to do two things here. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Obviously, you should go with whichever one is easier, but in this regard, we will have to multiply the top or the bottom line in order to eliminate the x or the y. So I'm going to pick the y's to eliminate, but if you wanted to go with the x's, you'd still get the same answer. So I'm going to eliminate the y's, which means that I need to get rid of the y from the top and the bottom line. And the way that I do that is I make sure that they both have, a, one has a plus and one has a minus, and they both have the number 5. So I need to change the top line then to have a 5, in front of the y and I also needed to have a minus in front of it. So I'm going to multiply the top line by minus 5. So if I do that down here then that's going to give me minus 20x minus 5y is equals to minus 70. And then I'm just going to rewrite out the second line or my second graph which is x plus 5y is equals to 13. Now I'm going to add them together and my y's as we can see are going to cancel out. So now I have minus 20x plus x which gives me minus 19x and that's equals to minus 70 plus 13 which is going to give me minus 57 and I want to get the x by itself so I'm going to divide both sides by minus 19 and therefore x is equals to 3. Now I have my value of x I need to then go and get my value of y so to do that I'm going to substitute in 3 for x either in my top or my bottom line I'm going to go with the top line again so it's 4x plus y is equals to 14 so I'm going to substitute in 3 that's going to give me 12 plus y is equals to 14 I'm going to minus 12 from both sides so therefore, y is equals to 2. Okay guys, I'd like you to have a go at this question now. Pause the video, try it in your copy, and you can play the video to see if you got the right answer. Okay, so in this question, I'm going to choose to eliminate the y's, purely because 1 is a minus and 1 is a plus already. However, I need to make the top y into a minus 2y, which means I need to multiply the entire top line by 2. So I'm going to do that now. So that's going to give me 4x minus 2y is equals to minus, oops, 14. And I'm going to then write out my other line, which was x plus 2y is equals to 4. So again, I need to carry out my elimination so we can see that when we add them together, they're going to cancel. So 4x plus x gives me 5x. And minus 14 plus 4 gives me minus 10. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5, therefore x is equals to 2. And now I need to substitute in x equals to 2 into my equation. So I'm going to do that over here. So that's 2x minus y is equals to minus 7. So then 2 times 2 minus y is equals to minus 7. So that's 4 minus y equals to minus 7. I'm going to minus 4 from both sides so that means that minus y is equals to minus 11 so therefore y is equals to 11.